we're going to give you a quick overview of just kind of what's going on in our temporary garden. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that foliage, that yeah. dark color. Hi everybody, hey there. we are in our garden today. We're excited to show you around um, just a few little kind of projects we have going on, some things in bloom. Yep, we're lucky we have a beautiful day here today. It's not raining, clear blue skies. And yeah, we've got some stuff to do. So let's see what's going on. All right, you guys, the first stop on our tour is our beautiful bearded iris in bloom. We had to show you because they are just like kind of the stars of the show right now in our garden. Look how gorgeous those are. We just, we love them. These are all bulbs from Eden Brothers. Some of you might have seen the planting videos we made. And we've got two different ones here. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Now this burgundy kind of um, color with the yellow center, this is called Bernice's Legacy. And this beautiful peach one, which I think is my favorite, it's um, called Concertina. Look at how there's, look at this purple stamen that kind of, you can see it's orange in the center. We just, it's just beautiful. Love, love that. Now we have glads coming up in this uh, trough that we have these planted in. We have a whole bunch of glads yep, coming there up. There they look, are. Oh my right gosh, behind. Honey, look how many there are. Yep, we've got quite a few. It's even more than I realized. We need to pull some out of here. It looks like we're going to have to so thin many. these out. Jeez. We divided these. Was that last year or that two that was, years ago? That was last year. So, wow, a lot a lot of the little like baby corms that we had in there have really multi or, uh, grown in size. And we have containers everywhere. Let's look at our hydrangea here. Oh, look at, oh, I can't wait for this to bloom. You guys look, it's getting so close. Now this is um, a Cascade Hydrangea from Proven Winners. This is called Fairy Trail Bride. Oh, yeah. It's gonna bloom with these bright white flowers. And if I remember right, they lasted in bloom for like months. Yeah, they did. And we pruned on this. Um, we have a pruning video on this too. We'll put that down below if you wanna check out how to prune this. I know we were considering moving it cause we have it underneath my mom's old pear tree right now, but it seems to be doing very well here. And we really don't know where else to put it right now anyway. So we've got some various projects going on back yeah, here. Yeah, um, Justina didn't make it. We this, have a couple that didn't make it this I know. year. Those of you that have been following us for a while, you, you know that we've overwintered our Dracenas for probably four or five years now. First winter, they didn't make it. So, all right, heading this way, we've got a lot of little potted things going on. Lots of hydrangeas coming in. Oh, These yeah. are all endless summer hydrangeas. These two are summer crush, and this is pop star. Pop star. Yep. Popstar was a really fun new one that we finally saw in bloom last year. It's one of our newer ones. Yeah. I can't wait to see that in bloom yeah. again. And look at our pansies. We're going to plant you guys. Know, we, we promise. Planted, they kind of look like they're planted. There's a couple right here too. Love these. Beautiful. No, they're just fun, cool weather bloomers. Oh. These are proven winners, Pugster Pinker. Pugster Pinkster. And there are actually two Budleas in here. Mm -hmm. And we really need to transplant one of them out. Yep. You can see right here. There you go. There's one. And there's two. So this uh, this stick indicates a project. So you'll start seeing a lot of those around the garden. Maybe try to find them as we walk around. Love this Next. hydrangea. This is Let's Dance Can Do. And here is a project coming up. We need to deadhead it. And we'll show you how to do that in a minute. Coming around the corner here, we've got a couple panicle hydrangeas. We're going to keep them in these containers. We actually need to fertilize them. So that yep. might happen today. And we need to place them in really a lot more sun uh, locations. Because last year you can see they got a little stretchy here. They, they, ha they have some stretching going on. Those internodes are a lot longer than they should be. And that means they weren't getting enough sun. I love that. We can just, we'll find a new home for those, maybe like further over that way. It gets a lot more sun. Totally. So continuing, you know, I'm sorry, we're not stopping at every single pot. We've got, um, we want to show you our Edo peonies. We've got That's... one, two, and three. So let's see if I can remember Where's these. Where's that third one? Oh, there it is right there. Oh, look at the buds. Okay, Woo! hold on. This is first arrival, I believe, because yep. it is the first one to bloom that we have. This is Cora Louise. Cora Louise. It's huge this year. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Lots of really good buds on oh it. Oh my gosh, this thing has tripled, it looks like, in size since last year. Love seeing these buds. Oh, me oh, yeah. too. This Ooh. is our newest one, Bartzella. And we have not had that in bloom yet because we just added that last fall. There's a new one right there. Something like that. And then there's a new one over there. Yeah, for being planted, it's first year planting. Um, we're lucky to have a couple of blooms on it. So I can't wait that'll be to great. See. And that one will be yellow. The other two are pink. Um, they really like this. Basically, we have them underneath this huge old blue spruce tree. They get morning sun and afternoon partial shade. Mm -hmm. So really doing well. Okay, coming this way. 
What do we got We've over here? recently transplanted one of our favorite hydrangeas, Berry White. Now it's kind of rehabbing a little bit. We could say it's a little smaller, but it's it's really leafing out this year. Mm -hmm. This was transplanted from our old backyard and we had it in way, a very small container. We just moved it up. Let's stop in our little, oh. our little area here. Some of you already know what these are. These are the brand new Eclipse Hydrangeas from First Edition Shrubs and Trees. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that foliage, that yeah. dark color. It's gonna bloom kind of a cranberry or magenta colored uh, flower. Yeah, and these, yeah, these overwintered with us and they're doing great. Really well. They've, oh, they've, they've even got their new flowers oh, cool. coming in right there. Look at that. Awesome, yeah, these, they're all over these. These are zoned down to at least hardy to zone three or four. We'll yep. look up the, we'll put the info on the screen for you for that. Definitely. These are available in stores this year, you guys. Um, our lupin needs a little bit of water, so. Well, and it needs to be transplanted because it's outgrown in yet another pot. I know. It just keeps growing. Moving on from our lupin and we, are, we will take care of that in a minute. We wanted to point this out. This is really fun. This cute little square planter that we just added from Crescent Garden this year. We planted this plant on stage at the Northwest Flower and Garden Show in Seattle, what, two, three months ago mm -hmm. in February. So this plant is a juiced orange cestrum. Yeah, it's beautiful. For proven it's, winners. And it's coming back really well. It wasn't doing so hot before. And you can see we pruned it in a couple different places, but it just it's reacting really well. Oh, and we'll have a link down below for uh, the Crescent Garden planter too. I know, I love this. Um, we've got a new cone flower in here. Yay. I can't remember which one. Uh, we got so many, it's okay. I know, I forget. Oh, and then Dianthus. there are Dianthus. Oh, that's, that's doing a lot better this yeah, year. Last year it wasn't good. doing so great. Look at our, you can barely see it. Oh, our hot lips. Our hot lips is not doing so is good. Is this new growth though? Yeah, that's some new growth, but I mean the rest of it just didn't make it through this winter. The cutting as well that we've had for a couple of years. So yeah. I don't know, what do you think we should do with that? We'll prune it up. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it back. Yeah, well, it'll be fine. We love salvia. Let's... Now, we should have mentioned that um, our containers are kind of willy-nilly all over the place right now. Um, we're, we're kind of redesigning the space that we're borrowing from my mom's yard. So we're going to show you updates because actually we've got some landscape projects going on. So we'll be kind of moving things around a little bit. So we're really excited about that. So you're going to start seeing a lot of just random pots kind of thrown in other pots. Yeah, we've got our native bulbs right Temporary. here. Oh, a yeah, couple of them. That. Yep. So we've got some project sticks here. Huh? See the um, project sticks. I know. We've got to show you, we've got some salvia in bloom. There's actually Beautiful. two plants here. Now this is a Darwin perennials plant and this is blue bayou salvia. We really like them. They bloom forever. Yep. They were rebloomers too. Yeah, they this is back. a, this is a herbaceous perennial sage. There's a hardwood sage that we have over in that direction over there. And oh, we'll, we'll go look at that in a minute. All right, moving this way, we've got a lot of um, new plantings kind of added to our garden. This is El Nino. El Nino. It's a gorgeous plant. I know it doesn't look like much yeah. yet. It's had, a, it's had a rough winter. It will look beautiful with pink flowers once it blooms. We have a limelight hydrangea, limelight Ooh, prime back beautiful. here that has been recently planted and Brand added to new our, from last year. Our growing hydrangea collection. Oh, and what do we got here? We got a We also gardenia. have, this is, let me get out of the sun here. I know, there's lots of sun here. We've got pillow talk gardenia. We have two of them actually. Mm -hmm. So this one is getting ready to bloom. It's doing really well. Something's chewing on it though. Yeah. We have some, could be weevils, it That's could be caterpillars. We'll figure it out. And then there's another little one. This one is kind of in rehab, so don't hold that against yeah. it. It will we're, look... We're pretty sure that's transplant shock. I think so. So, okay. Should we go to the greenhouse really quick? Let's go to the greenhouse. Right. So come along. It's kind of a lot of projects. So we, actually, we could show our hosta garden. Oh, okay. And some other... This is our little Ooh, shade yes. area. Look at those hostas. Recently transplanted to... Um, white feather hostas into these really cute blue pots. And those are Eden Brothers too. Love those. So I'll link down below. Here's Patriot hosta. Oh, beautiful. Again, as you and know, then, everything's in containers. Look at that we big one. This is our proven winner Shadowland Diamond Lake hosta, which we transplanted out oh, of our old geez. garden. So that's looking pretty good. Yeah. We have some things kind of rehabbing a little bit here. Um, two more Eclipse hydrangeas. These were forced to bloom a, like in February, which is For really... The, for the Northwest Flower and Garden Show. Yes. So they're not looking so great, but uh, you can see they've got some new growth here, some new growth. We just got to clean them up a little bit. They'll they'll be looking good. I know that'll be fun. Months. 
Okay, so I should get out of the way and let you take a peek in our greenhouse. Oh, yes. Seedlings. We've got some cute little projects going Look on in here. Look at all those zinnias. Uh, Woo. Do you think we planted enough zinnias? No. I don't think so. <laughs> or marigolds. Look at or marigolds. I know. We, I kind of am obsessed with marigolds this year for some Beautiful. reason. Beautiful. That isn't even, like, we have two more full trays to yeah. transplant. And we've got some alyssum. And then some nasturtiums and some morning glory right there. That's fun. We got to plant those out. My so. mom has some cosmos coming up over here, and then our snapdragons. Look at all those snapdragons. Desperately need to be transplanted. Yeah, we need to plant those. We should do something with those. So coming around the corner, we've got salvia zone. So here's more herbaceous salvia. This is back to the fuchsia salvia from Proven Winners. These two. Yep. Which they both have a project stick because we need to do some work on. Look how deep the, these are. It's like the soil level just disappeared. Well, they settled. And so we got to we gotta dig these plants up, get them out, put more soil in there, get it compacted down, place the plants back in there. One of the reasons we have this these projects here. Well, and my question, Sean, is will it be okay now that they're about to flower? Uh, we should probably wait until they're done flowering or at least this flush of flowers. Okay. These, uh, these sage will f continue to flower from now throughout the rest of the summer. It's just the flowers will get smaller and smaller with each flush, but they'll continue to flower. So it's just kind of one of those things where we need to pick our moment and just do it. Okay. Yeah. Now there's another salvia here, which is another part of the project stick. Um, this salvia is gorgeous and it's, um, this is salmon mirage, salmon something mirage. I'd have to find the tag. Yeah, it's, it's buried in there somewhere, it's but buried, this but is a hardwood salvia. You can see, you can see it's kind of like that hot lips where it's got that really tough hard wood. It smells so and good. Yeah, this is beautiful. We hope you enjoyed the tour. So if you got any questions for us, leave them down below. We'd love hearing from you guys and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you get updates on all our latest videos. And stay tuned. We have a lot of bulb planting videos coming up soon. Plus oh, yeah. we've got planting projects. Um, yeah, there's a lot of spring content coming up. There's so a lot going on. We're really excited to show you. So thanks for being here. Have a great day. Bye See everybody. Ya. Bye.